guys, I'm Mohammad Shahzad Arshad. Let's go for a new topic with the storage side. Today we are going to install free NAS uh, storage area network. It's a network attached storage which we uh, use for uh, to have a files and data on a, a one specific failover uh, storage. You can configure RAID and other things but you know in corporate sector we have a SAN and NAS two type of storages so this one was required for our failover cluster also you can mount into the different servers the RDMs uh, and our lunch mount disks so let's start it today we are going to install free NAS I have downloaded the free NAS uh, image from the website I will use I don't have any other hardware server to install on that I will do I will make a, a VM here on my ESXi server and uh, we will proceed on that and that virtual machine will act as a uh, NAS network attached storage so let's start the big, uh, installation uh, I told you first I have downloaded the ISO uh, image uh, from the side it's a free source you can do it and upload on your data store uh, you want to install on the virtual machines I will show you here so I have uh, downloaded free NAS 11.3 uh, version uh, it's an ISO file already here so let's go start and create a virtual machine so then we will start installation so I will right click on my this server ESXi server and I will say new virtual machine it's a new virtual machine the machine name is free NAS okay and we'll choose our location for this VM next it will choose a server yeah on this same server I want to default storage I have a free space here 276 next okay next Okay, free NAS software is uh, Linux based, so I will choose Linux. Or you can choose any which is compatible. I'll go for like Ubuntu. You can choose other also, like other Linux, but it will give you a warning here, legacy support and blah blah blah. So, better which is comfortable with uh, VMware, we'll use that. Ubuntu Linux 64 bit, I'll use this one because that's. In, uh, ISO is 64 bit next so uh, because it's uh, my NAS I will give a two uh, CPUs and I will give uh, 8 GB minimum you have to do it give it because the minimum requirement for free NAS and storage I will make it like uh, 60 GB okay so I will choose my VM network to go and next okay good finish okay after creation I'll go on summary after creation here it is my it's creating still some percentage we'll mount the ISO image okay it's completed we'll go edit settings and we will mount that from the data store free NAS automatically if we go it was here in the ISO free NAS select ok connect the power on ok and we will start the power ok power is started let's see what's going on okay it will automatically after four or five seconds it will start installation free NAS it's booting okay so I will hit okay installation I will spacebar it will select my hard disk and click OK yes password for root user which is a web user 
after install it will give you a web interface so uh, my root user I'll give a password and hit ok yeah boot via BIOS no issues create swap ok ok it will start uh, installation so it will take a little time uh, while it's getting installed let me pause my video and then we'll come back here exactly after the installation completed okay installation is completed and asking us to reboot click ok come back system enter and it will go for reboot so when it's rebooting I will just time and bring us the uh, IP address web interface and other route interfaces it's checking for link state change to up one hour interface updating the plugins <coughs> setting up plugins for the system alerts Let's see so it's generating now We'll wait some more time to let it complete and then I will come back. Okay, it's completed and we are here on our choice. As of now, you can see I don't have uh, any uh, DSCP server. So it, it tried and it didn't get any uh, IP address. So let's go and configure uh, uh, IPv4 for this device. I'll choose first option configure network interface so enter is asking select uh, interface yes one is asking you want to remove remove the settings or anything no is asking configure interface for DSCP no I'm gonna give a static IP configure uh, IPv4 yes enter name enter okay IP address the same name it will take it IP address 192.168.200.35 net masks 255.255.255.0 enter okay so it's asking me for configuration of IPv6 no need okay good to go and you can see our uh, uh, IP address which we configured just now is available so now I have to give uh, one uh, route also so I will go for a default route for IPv4 so I can reach this uh, VM from anywhere in the network so let's choose uh, option number four for configure default route is asking configure IPv4 default route yes okay default route 192.168 my default gateway 200.1 enter I think you want to configure for IPv6 too no 
Okay, so we should get a, a reply at this moment from my computer. I can check. Okay, the device. Okay, so it's reachable. So let's open a web page. okay free NAS is here so I'll give a root password remember you give during the installation Login. there you go so all our interfaces for free NAS for configuration and other things so the system accounts network if we go to the storage you can create the polls and right now it's no poll here so that is our the first dashboard and this is a very good free NAS uh, app you can use it on your any server or mega VM for your labs and other things so this one is wrap up our this video let's see you in the next video